How is the market? Number one question I get as a real estate agent. General, how is the market? Well, specifically, here's how the market is in Highlands Ranch for the week ending March 26th. So the last uh, seven days ending March 26th. Here is exactly what's happening in Highlands Ranch in that seven day stretch. So I, what I like to do is add up what came on the market, subtract what came off the market to see which direction we're heading in terms of inventory first. So what came on the market? 20 new listings, five that are coming soon, that's 25. Four back on market, meaning their contract fell out. So that's 29 coming on the market. What's coming off the market? 26 under contract, zero withdrawn, zero leased, and one expired. So 27 coming off the market. So this is the first time in a while that I've seen more come on to market than come off the market. Might that be a start of a new trend? We shall see. Stay tuned for next week. If you like these sort of statistics, make sure you like and subscribe. And other than that, let's get into uh, specifics here. Let's start with what came off the market. <clears throat> and we're going to take a look at, get out of here, a uh, st quick statistical view of every home that went under contract this week. So you can see they range anywhere from 625,000 all the way up to 6 million. Woo, a $6 million home sale right here in Highlands Ranch, back country, I would presume. Yep, 10,000, almost 11,000 square foot home went under contract. That's cool. That's going to drag the average way up. I'm sorry, I should have said minimum of 375,000, not 625. So the 6 million will take the average way up, yet the median home sale this week was 625K. Average days on market, 37, yet there are some outliers dragging that up, particularly that big home sale has been on the market. Oh, man, almost a year, three days shy of their anniversary, they went under contract. Uh, the median, though, days on market was only six. So that will tell you the speed at which homes are coming off the market, provided they are well-positioned and well-priced, look good online and in, in person. Let's go back. Let me move me. Um, let's check what is coming online this week, at least in terms of new listings, not counting the coming soon. So this week, as I mentioned, there's 20 new listings, <clears throat> and their average price is 948490 yet there's a uh, 2.1 million dragging that up, so the median is 779 so, <clears throat> excuse me, one last look here at what's closed, the 27 that have closed. So noticing a trend, it's about uh, 25 to 30 between new listings, price, or, or sorry, new listings, under contracts, and closed uh, this week. Again, we'll be watching to see, because for the last several, several weeks that we've been looking at this, there's way more coming off the market than coming on. So it's putting even more of a constraint on supply. Uh, so again, this is the first week that we're seeing uh, more come to the market than come off the market. So we'll have to see if that trend continues. Okay, what closed this week? Of the 27 homes that closed, they were on for a median of 13 days, median close price of 665, average close price of 804, and close pro excuse me, close to list price ratio of 98. So you can see they're moving quickly and they're getting very close to asking price. And we're going to keep watching this every single week right here in Highlands Ranch. Again, this is Sean Reddy, Keller Williams Reddy Group. Uh, again, if you like these uh, sort of videos, and I am a stats geek, if you are too, make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next week. Later.